Say hello, Julie. Hello. Where are we going? Um, Beagle. No. North Allerton first, but I think I'm past the sign for it. We're, we're back. So we'll go to North Allerton instead. Yeah. Look at Julie's hair turn round. Beautiful. There you go. So we're going to North Allerton. And we're just going to go browsing, aren't we, today, yeah. and have lunch. Yeah. Okay, and it's a glorious sunny day, as you can see, on yeah. the motorway. Look at the fields, beautiful fields. And I'm taking a picture of the sky and the clouds, they're like whispers, what we call whispers. filming a little bit of the um, countryside where we're driving through. We've, we are actually going now to Thirsk. Thirsk first. So we're heading towards Thirsk. And it is a glorious day. Love all the different colours. Probably that other end, I know, I think. <laughs> right now, it right, does. They need to breathe in white and them. <laughs> Julie's winding at the moment because she didn't see the sign that says humps in the road and she's just driving over them. And they're having a whinge. Oh, I didn't see that. Look how the trees are. So we're in, coming in, well, we're in Thirsk now. We've got to go back down to that place we went to when, uh, when Renier was here. Where the hell was that? Uh, Bewley. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got to do that, Julie. Oh, curtain. Oh, yes. I'll have to have a look in there. <laughs> yeah. We're spotting th shops while we're going around. So, this is um, Thirsk. I've been here a few times with Raymond. Right. I'm just see if there's a park. You'll be lucky if you get a parking spot, Jules. Parking, parking, parking. Can I, uh, there one there, two there. Oh, I mean the parking up all over the place. What the hell do I get on? Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Oh shit. Sorry. There's <laughs> one right here. Yeah. Just uh, I'm gonna go. Just get in there. Just turn in it. Further up. Oh, go away. Don't you get in my. Well, they're gonna now. You should have just got that one on the front. Will you move? Here, yeah, right there. See over there. Oh, you always get some idiot. <laughs> There's one or two here as well. Yeah? Here, yeah, there.
we managed to find some few bits and pieces. So I'm just going to run through them with you. So we did go to the charity shops and um, <laughs> same old problem, far too expensive, although we did find some really good bargains. So I'm just going to share this as well with you um, because I'd forgotten to do it yesterday and I'm not going to do a video just on this. Um, these, I'm sorry, I've got income because I've just been doing a project. These are the, um, it's a motif kit and you get 15. So you're getting three of the butterfly, six of the flower, three of the heart and three of the bow. So that kit's on sale on the store now. That's a really good kit. Right, now we did manage to find some doilies which I'm going to go through. I managed to find myself something for the bedroom which I, to hang on the door. Uh, but first of all, I just want to share this with you. I came across this, you know these scarves that you can buy and it's one of those stretch ones with all that it's a chiffon fabric um, and there's lots of it and I thought do you know that would make gorgeous gorgeous flowers and gorgeous butterflies and that so I thought I've really quickly just done a project very quick um, and I came up with that one so it's just to use the material to do a butterfly or a flower you know like a shabby chic one um, or vintage whatever you want to call them um, and I coloured these but wrong colour and I got it all over me. Metal butterfly and some bling. So I just thought, you know, a really, really quick. Um, just to give you an idea what to do with this type of material. Now, um, this scarf cost me £4. But I didn't mind paying that because look how many things I can... I mean, I could even put that on the background of something. What You know, awesome. In fact, I'm going to try that. So it gave me a lot of material, a different sort that I wouldn't normally buy or find. Um, I always look at scarves because you never know. Look, let's see, I got the ink on me. Because you never, never know what sort of material you get. So from that, we got that. And lots more you can do. So just watch out for the scarves. Um, so that's that. I bought some material, um, which I found I thought was absolutely awesome. Um, really thick material, ribbed, uh, for doing books. So I'm just, you know, I wanted to do a book with that. So I will share that with you. Um, now, I'm not going to do the doilies just yet. Let's have a look at this. Now, I found this in a charity shop and it already had the shells in it, which can be taken and used on projects. And I paid £2 for that, which is a nice dish that I'm going to put on uh, when I do the bedroom. So another one that I'll be able to, or in the craft room, maybe put some pearls in it or something like that. So that's that one. Um, I did find this, which I thought was awesome, but it was pricey, but I thought, yeah, you know, what, whatever. Um, I did like the charity, so I thought I, I would go and spend the time buying that. So I bought that and it's heavy, but what a beautiful, beautiful butterfly to go on a project, or even to wear, basically. Um, I just think it's awesome. Really nice. And the box can be used for something else. So we got that. Uh, I found this, which is kind of unusual. <laughs> Never seen one. Uh, glass pearls, 10 millimeter, and with a vintage picture on, like a thingy. So that can all be taken apart. They're nice size pearls to do stick pins with. Great, yeah. Hope you can see that. So that was that. And then I found these in the same shop as the material. And I thought, Do you know, I, you see, it's where my mind works. And you'll recognise them probably. So I bought ten of them. But it's just to give you ideas. You know the jaw, uh, jaw, jaw, drawstring, what you uh, put your, you know, on coats when you pull the hood up tight and that. See that? You press that down, put your thread in, release it, and uh, it pull. You know, you can pull it up and down to tighten or not, or you'll ram the waist of coats. And I saw those, and immediately I saw miniature bottles. You know, like if you, I'm going to be doing me apothecary uh, shop, and that's going to look perfect. I can put something metal or a pearl in there, or you know, anything out an eye. You know, make an eye to go in there. Uh, add a little bead or something for the top, like a bead cap or something, and I've got a perfectly good, what looks like a bottle, and it looks like something's in it. Like that. I could just make sure there's like an eye in it. And it, So just watch out for things like that. 
You know, I will always look for things to uh, for ideas. Always. So that's that. I'm just going to turn my glue gun off because I was using it to make that butterfly. Now, I found this. Hmm. See if I can get this without breaking it. Um, it is going on the store for sale. I don't want it because I've got one very similar to it. But I just thought, what a beautiful, beautiful size. Like that. And I paid £4 for that, so that's what it'll go on the store for. Um, there's no markings on it that I know of. But it's, you know, shabby chic. Beautiful, good size. You can keep anything in that. Uh, and that will now go for sale because I have one. Okay. Um, I just, you can't, I can't miss a bargain like that, you see. You just can't. My, um, it, it, it won't let me, <laughs> my head won't let me miss a bargain. Right, and this one is the coat um, hanger or door hanger. So what I found, this was £4.50. And I thought, you know, it would have cost more than that new. Um, and I'm not going to argue with anybody over less than a fiver for something like this because I, I found it fabulous. I thought, yes, that's a bargain, that. And that's going to look fantastic in my shabby sheet room. And I can hang laces from it or something like that. And not bad for £4.50. So that's that. So just watch out in, you know, you never know. Then I also found um, this. Now I paid um, 99p for it and I'm keeping it because I'm going to decorate it up. It's already cushioned so that saves me a job. And I all I have to do is decorate it. Um, a coat hanger. Pink one. And that will hang, I don't know. I've got, to, if you remember when I went with Ren Yanes and Jewel, Julie, we went to Cambridge and I found on the market a white cotton nightgown, like a 1800s one. And that will look fantastic on that, on the back of the door. So, yeah, there you go. I got that. Um, these came in today, so I'm just going to share these with you as well while I'm here. Oh, yes, my butterflies to do the but uh, stick pins. Um, at their back in. I managed to get some pins because people have been asking me for those. Um, and this is the new one. And I, they will be on the store shortly. Um, do, I, I taught you how to make these. And it just seems like everybody's making, you know, everybody's making and selling them now. Um, it's two bead caps with a roundel. So you can either make your own, which I've got a video on how to do, or um, buy them from the store. They, they won't be expensive at all. Okay. And they're beautiful on a stick pin. So that's the new one. It is quicker for me to actually buy them in than to make them. Because uh, the quantity you lot would want, I just couldn't do it. I can't do anything else. <laughs> but just thought I'd share that with you. And like I say, I made butterflies came in so I can now finish the butterfly stick pins that I was doing. And I won't be sharing where I get them from. If you want to find out, that's up to you. But I'm not because I sell them. It'd be silly. Um, oh, yes. This. Now, I've got to try this because I saw this in the charity shop. And I thought, you know, that would go perfect perfect with my new beads now i've just got to find the beads to be honest where did i put the beads my oh here they are my desk is chocker again as it is always oh bum i've done that and it's gone upside down you silly woman oh dearie me <laughs> nearly knocked that new uh, dish off and all uh, right, okay, I've got what I need. I've lost three. <laughs> so, what I was thinking of, where's that bracelet gone? Uh, necklace, sorry. This is what I wanted this for. Now, I'm just going to snip this off. I couldn't find, though I've looked everywhere, for um, a bead cap. Now, by the looks of it, this is going to be too big anyway, so that won't matter. There's a little bead in it. Now, let me see. Now I like that, see? Um, and in fact, I could... Yes, I could, couldn't I? Hmm. Let me see, now. Just hold, where did I put those things? I've just had them in here. 
I need the pin, to be honest. Here we go. So I'm just trying something out. You'll have to just bear with me. Here's the pin. I mean, they come to you, they're all bent as bugger. Pop that in there. Hopefully my glue gun is still hot enough. Uh, no, not quite. Come on, glue gun. Well, I'll let that heat up again while I'm uh, and we'll talk about the other bits. So just leave that there for a minute. Oops, bead fell. Um, what I got, I got these as well. We went into an antique place and I thought, oh, that's nice. And they had these thimbles, wooden thimbles. Now, I know that's up, you know, that would be upside down because I use these for miniatures. Like, I could put um, canes in, you know, walking sticks and um, brollies and things like that. And I can decorate these up. But I buy them because they're perfect size for the miniatures that I do. Then I found that one. And all I have to do is sand down because it's not level. So it'll be like that. I'll just sand that down and that'll stand up right. That's a real nice one. And then I found that one, which I thought was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thimble. Wooden, really nice. So that's those, that'll go in the miniature drawer. Um, let me just see if this is ready yet. Not quite, we'll leave it. Um, yesterday I made these out of some chiffon flat, um, fabric, silk satin fabric, should I say. So I'm gonna come back and show you how to make that one. It does have the pearl bead here, there and everywhere. That's a really nice flower, and you can do them any size you want. And then this was the remainder of the material I had there. Uh, and I shredded it. It gave a pattern on the edge, as well as get, um, gave a nice ruffle. And they're easy to make. So let's go back to this again. Right, come on. I'm going to have to, I think, take out the bit that's left. So it's not working right. Although I don't like wasting anything, as you know. There we go. All I'm saying is, if it's slightly bigger than what you need, fill out some of the bead cap with glue. And then you can pop that in there like that that's perfect great see and then when it's settled you can then move these about i'm just going to try and do it now there that's better that's cupped that so just watch out for things like this i just thought it was ideal and i've been looking for things for the large pearls that i had and then that i can use to hang this anywhere or add to it. So what I'm going to do, because I might as well, um, is do just that. And then it's done with. I'm going to add a nice large crystal. Um, another pearl, but not quite as big. We'll have a different colour. A smaller crystal. I think, and then a small bead like that, and I may just have enough space to turn that over. Yes, I have just, and there you go. See, that looks quite nice, and that will hang anywhere. So I'm thrilled I managed to get hold of that. That's the tools. Just put that to one side. Put those to one side. Right, now let's go on to these, which are the uh, doilies. I'm finding that the doilies are getting more and more expensive, regardless of what people say. You might live by um, charity shops that um, are cheap or cheaper, but these, where we are, these are, you know, really old villages and they sell them as antiques basically um and so i mean 
we go into charity shops and we can pick them up cheap, cheap. But in particular ones where we went today, they weren't cheap at all. Uh, I was a bit flabbergasted, to be honest, but I got them because I'm going to be doing some kits, so these will be included in kits. So that's one. You know, we've got the cream and the gold material that I showed you earlier, um, and that's going to be a kit, and these are going to be the doilies that's used in them. So the price will reflect, reflect, reflect um, all the products that's used in that particular kit. Um and these um managed to pick up this one which can be used you know for uh, books or whatever and i'm not saying that all of these will be for sale i like that one and i love that one when you can separate all of these so some will be for sale and some are going in the kits love that one do you remember i used this one to make a purse once i've had this one before Nice thick one. Beautiful. Just stunning. Look at that one. These, love these. They make gorgeous pockets on books and that, or pages. And that one. Gorgeous one. Pink. On this white one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with some of them. Uh, I know some will be sold. But um, this one was quite expensive. And why? Because it was pink. And she went, oh, she said it's vintage. I said it might be vintage. But, you know, <laughs> you are expensive. Well, you don't have to buy. And I was thinking, don't start, Fiona. Don't start. So... <coughs> excuse me and these two were very expensive but I liked them and I thought they were really nice so you know then we've got these I know people are buying them and making them into butter bags and whatever but you know it's whatever tastes, takes your fancy and whatever you want So, uh, it's usually the doily doily ones that are the expensive ones. These mats you can pick up for pennies in some places. But it does all depend on where you live and where you shop. So there you go. Um, yeah, like I say, they're the motif kits, 15 in total. These flowers are back in, which are gorgeous. Um, and uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I do like this, I think it's come out really nice. And I'm glad I chose them now. So right now we're just coming down Church, it's Church Hill Lane isn't it? Yeah. Uh, towards Bardsley to the Bingley Arms which is supposed to be one of the oldest pubs in it. It's the oldest in England. Oh, the oldest pub in England, supposed to be. I always thought it wasn't. there was one further down south that was the oldest. So this is heading towards Bardsley. Bardsley. Bardsley, sorry. B -A -R -D. S E and that's the Norman Church just there. Not that you can see much of it. We're going down into Bardsey. Oh look. I just love the old buildings, you can't beat them. I know. <gasps> oh look at these oh, old places. Is... They're just picturesque, aren't they? Right, if there's a Oh they're the Bingley Arms. The Bingley Arms if you want to have a look at the Oh, I'm no, just going to say it, it's on, it, I thought it was going to give you... bringing it closer. It's...
yeah these are like country lanes and I just love them the way the trees grow over in that Sorry if it's a bit rocky, but you think they'd do these lanes up, wouldn't you? We're just going to turn around right now. Oh. Mm. Can I do it? Just uh, go yeah. in the bush, Julie. You might as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous, isn't it? And it is a glorious day for a drive in the country. Go. They're quite steep some of these places aren't they? Yeah. Oh you can say when you're going up quite high up. <laughs> quite a climb or a drop. So the oldest pub in England supposedly. To me it doesn't look like the oldest no. pub though because I've seen like what country it, pubs. What it will be is the central bit in the middle will be in the built add-ons. Yeah. You know what we're yeah. doing. But there's just some stunning, stunning places. I mean, I love that. Look at this. Right, Julie. Have you enjoyed yourself today? Yes, I really enjoyed it. Which part did you like? I liked the uh, lunch. I loved the lunch, yes. It was very nice, wasn't it? it? Was. Yeah. And right now we're heading, well, towards Ripon, but back to Leeds. We're on our way home. So, it's been a lovely day. It's hot, hot at the moment, isn't yes. it? Yeah. And, um, yeah, we've had. I've had a great day. I loved all them shops. Um, it was a nice place to be, wasn't it? So hopefully we'll join you next week. Yeah. Yes. See you soon. Say bye, Julie. Bye.